one by one, they made the walk this morning out of the Labour Party. Seven MPs taking their seats as independents. Their resignations long rumoured, but still an adjustment. My name is Luciana Berger and I am the Labour and... <laughs> I am the Member of Parliament for Liverpool Wavertree. A century of Labour history between them. Each had their reasons to stay not a moment more. I cannot remain in a party that I have today come to the sickening conclusion is institutionally anti-Semitic. Uh, this has not been an easy decision for any of us. We've all been Labour members of Parliament for very many years, but it has now been hijacked by the machine politics of the hard left. I'm furious that the Labour leadership is complicit in facilitating Brexit. So from now on, they'll form the independent group, not a fully-fledged party, but perhaps the makings of one, somewhere in the centre of politics. Seven MPs might be enough for a dinner party, but not necessarily enough for a significant political party. How many others have suggested to you that they might be willing to join you? Absolutely. We might have a great dinner party with seven. Uh, I'm confident, however, that the arguments we're making must impress on our colleagues the choice. We're going to see any more resignations. As much as they try to shield him tonight, the party splinter will prove painful for Jeremy Corbyn, as the leadership insists those who've quit Labour should quit Parliament too. But all of these MPs stood on our manifesto in 2017, Jeremy Corbyn's manifesto. They all increased their majorities. Now they're on a different platform. So the honourable thing, the usual thing for them to do now, is to stand down and fight by-elections. That is what happened last time there was a split this big. We have to produce a new political structure for our country. In the 80s, the SDP might not have won office, but they helped deny it to Labour. Today's resignations could assist the Tories too. Are you willing, as a group, to vote with the Conservative government on a case-by-case -case basis? It completely depends what the issue is. Look, I, I voted with the Conservatives to take military action in Syria. But this many people in Labour will see that as a huge betrayal. I mean, your critics already call you a red Tory. You're proving them right, aren't you? You would be willing to vote with the Conservative government, make their lives easier. But, it, but it's precisely this old-fashioned tribal politics that looks at the tribe and opposition for opposition's sake, as opposed to what is in the national interest, that is a big switch-off to people. Once the party's ready, would you like to lead it? Straightforward question. I, I want to play the biggest role that I can in any new movement, but given we haven't even formed an organisation yet, and I've only literally just today resigned my membership of the Labour Party, I think it would be a bit premature to start setting out you know, my personal political ambitions, because it's not about me. Whoever ends up leading the group, it may be about to grow, with several more MPs considering defecting as soon as this week. Today, Labour's deputy leader said the party must change, but tonight, Labour MPs saw little sign of it, leaving their weekly meeting here enraged by the leadership, with one predicting an existential crisis. For now, these MPs will be hoping seven is a lucky number, but it's too soon to say how they'll change the fortunes of party politics. Paul Brand, News at 10, Westminster.